Well, we start another study and uh, we go to 1 John chapter 2. My purpose with where to go is to cover as much of the Bible as possible and give uh, the listeners uh, and people who read uh, a broad view of the Bible and the Word of God so we don't become just narrow and shallow with uh, just a little bit of the Bible. So I try to cover as much of the scriptures as possible uh, every week. So 1 John chapter 2, we've already done chapter 1 earlier. And verse 1, it says, My little children, these things I write to you, so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. The Apostle John, who wrote uh, the first, uh, second, and third John, was one of the last living apostles of Jesus. And so at this point, he's correcting some of the errors that are creeping into the early church. So most of the things he addresses are related to wrong things that are being taught in the church. And he tells us uh, not to be in the habit of committing sin. So he tells us God's uh, ideal. He says, I write to you that you do not sin. God does not want us to sin. But then he says, if you sin, if you should sin, then God has a way of dealing with your sin. Uh, and that, that's what the Christian life is all about. God wants us to live without sin. That is his perfect will for us. That's the ideal. But sometimes we sin and, and we do something that is wrong. In those days, some people would sin and they would say, well, it doesn't matter. I, I've, I've already been forgiven by Jesus. And so the sins I'm committing now uh, has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. So they didn't take sin seriously. And, and John is saying it's a serious matter. So God doesn't want you to sin. But if you do sin, then this is how God wants you to handle your sin. And he says, we have an advocate with the Father. Uh, an advocate is a defense lawyer. And so what John is envisaging here is, uh, is a court, like a courtroom, God's courtroom. And God is the judge. And, and we, when we sin, we are the accused. And Satan is the accuser. He's the one who accuses us before uh, God. And Jesus is the advocate. So there is God, the judge, we, the sinners uh, who have committed the sin. Satan who is pointing to say, yeah, they did it, yeah, they did it. And Jesus who is our advocate. And in the passage, he calls Jesus the righteous one. Uh, so what, what he means is the reason Jesus can defend us before God is because he is righteous and he uses his righteousness as our defense. So when we sin, our defense is not that, oh, I didn't know it was a sin. Oh, the devil made me do it. We point to the advocate because he's a righteous one and he's vouching for us. He's defending us by pointing to himself to say, I am the righteous one. And because I am the righteous, I defend these ones. And that is why in Christianity, we don't come to God on our own merit. We come on the merits of Jesus Christ, the righteous one. And so when you sin, instead of running away with your sin, instead of saying, oh, it wasn't my fault, I didn't know about it, you own up to your sin and you go to Jesus. And Jesus Christ, who died for us, then steps in before God and pleads for us on the basis of his righteousness, not our righteousness, because we don't have it uh, when we have sin. Uh, we have a righteous relationship with God, but the sin has, has marred our righteous relationship with God. And Jesus, the righteous one, then steps in to defend us. So, still speaks to us today. God doesn't want us to sin. But when you sin, don't defend yourself. You go to Jesus. He's our defender. When you sin, don't plead, oh, innocent, oh, I didn't do it, ah, they, they put it on me. Own up to your sin and go to Jesus. And our advocate, the righteous one, stands before God and pleads our case for us. And that is what John the Apostle told the early Christians and is telling us now about how to handle sin if it should ever befall us. Let's pray. 
Say with me, Heavenly Father, I desire to live righteously before you. Thank you for providing a way out of sin. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, that's verse one. We'll go on uh, from tomorrow. I'll catch you again. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.